All right, guys, I know this might be a little out of order. I know I did the Jurassic Park 1, the Jurassic Park, or Jurassic Park set B, Jurassic Park set A. Uh, I do have a third video that's coming to show them together, but I did just get this guy in, and I absolutely love him. I want to get him out. This will be the second video of the week. Uh, we'll kick off next week, the very beginning, with the uh, Jurassic Park, with the two of them together. But, uh... I can't wait to show you that. That's going to be freaking insane when you get to see it. It was incredible getting to view it for the first time. This, he is absolutely fantastic. I want to go ahead. I want to get him up, get him out there. I think he's really cool, and I'm dying to show him all to you. So I'll throw the Jurassic Park, the three or the third video with the two together at the beginning of next week. We'll do this one this week, and let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jesse Rebirth. For any first time viewers, I'm extremely excited about this Superman from The Dark Knight Returns. I've always said that I, I rarely buy Supermans on their own. It's always a companion piece to a Batman story. The Dark Knight Returns is easily one of my favorite books. I mean, nothing touches The Long Halloween for me. I still think that's one of the greatest books of all time. I just... I love mob movies. I grew up loving The Godfather, Goodfellas, all those sort of things. Uh, love Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I thought that was so cool. But uh, that's kind of... The Long Halloween has all that mob element. It's really stylized. I love it. That Dark Knight... Uh, Dark Victory, all those. Incredible. But Dark Knight Returns is also one of my favorite books. And if you don't have the time to read it, there's an incredible animated movie that's maybe like three or four years old. Might be like four or five years old by now. Uh, but it was directed by Jay Olivia. F. Incredible. And you get to see the legendary fight between Superman and Batman in the second part. Really good. Uh, on that note, Metacom is dropping out all kinds of incredible toys of Batman. Real quick, I want to show you something. I do got to get this video finished and out there i've been playing with them but these metacom toys are absolutely incredible it was like he was falling that's kind of like how i had him posed but uh they are so cool everything about them and i mean we're getting a lot of dark knight returns we're getting a hush superman we're getting the dark knight returns joker probably a superman eventually but kind of led me down that path i'm really liking what they're doing and anything that's going to be the dark knight returns i'm fully on board with it now, really quick, something really cool. I keep getting these very low edition numbers. I don't know if that has to do with when I pre-ordered it or just luck of the draw, but this is number 17 of like, oh God, of like 300. Yeah, right there. Number 17 to 300. I did pre-order this guy immediately. When I seen him, uh, from the time they announced him to the time that they put him up for pre-order there's a pretty big gap we knew he was coming i almost thought he got canceled because they were doing a dark knight batman in armor and i mean it's like out in limbo but one cool thing is this is kind of like a failed print but we were we have a basically a one-third there's a little bit of dust on him he has been sitting right by the trash uh, a lot of these you got to reprint them sometimes. His ears didn't come out right, and we got some weird layer lines on them. The second one came out much better. But we basically have a one-third armored Batman that was some files, and I had my bro size it and fix it a little bit for me. Uh, we'll be talking about him a lot. If you've seen on Instagram, I did post that the Thomas Wayne head is basically going to be ready to show everyone. I will say it real quick right here, just because... Uh, this is him. It's the Thomas Wayne. There's sanding dust on him and everything. Uh, this is designed from the button from uh, the Tom King, even though I hate him, but Jason Fabok and Tom King did this little series called The Button where they really did this cool thing with Thomas Wayne and Batman meeting each other. Flashpoint Batman, basically, the one right over there. Uh... But it was really cool when it was like that. And then Tom King kind of dragged him back into the whole story. And basically ruined the character. We can still love him though. But uh, my bro sculpted that for me. 
and he also did another one for me. Uh, I'll be doing a whole video all about them. Uh, anyway, we got right here our Superman from The Dark Knight Returns. I really dig that his base looks like the, the bat tank, basically. We got a couple switch outs. We got the kryptonite arrow, a fist, open hand fist. We got this cool one that looks like a mashup of like BVS and realistic armor helmet. And it's kind of got, what is that like? It's like melted. You like It looks straight up BVS to be honest. But we're going to have a couple heads. One, two. The smiling one looks a little weird. Three, four. But... All together, this guy is textured out. He looks awesome. We're going to get him open. So it seems to be that our little box is going to have the base and the heads. And our big box here will be the body and the cape. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump in the little box first. And I do... Let's see, we got some promotion. Uh, the Joker and Batman in the cave from Hush. I will say I pre-ordered both of these. Karen made me pre-order this one. And then I could not pass this guy up. It looks like they fixed his rib. Or just... Maybe it's just the way this looks. But a lot of people had issue with his rib. Let me know if you're getting these. Let me know if you're getting him or you're getting these. Or what you got on the horizon. Wow. Alright, right away guys. The way they made it look. This base is going to be like small or something. Not at all. That's pretty gigantic. Thing is though, I like bases when they're smaller this way, you know, and they could be a little wider than when they're like this and short this way. Like the Batman Damned, he's dope, but the size of his base is just extremely inconvenient. Maybe people with larger displays like them when they're longer backwards than they are sideways because you could fit more, but I think it just created more problems for me being that way like this one would fit perfectly back here so I guess we could take a peek at all these there's our kind of boy scout smirk we're angry we're just uh you know kind of brooding and there we go pissed off A little piece that hooks right in the front. Then we got some hands over here. We'll wait on these hands because I'm really excited to get in there and see that helmet. Number 17 to 300. You see Superman right there on the bottom. This thing is about as heavy as Batman's tank. Check out the back though. It's very cool. Really dig that Superman thing right there. So seems like we're supposed to have another one in there. Oh yeah, we are. Maybe put this in the wrong side. There we go. Very cool. All right. Damn. Woo. Look at that texture. Look at that beautiful metallic symbol. Look at that bulge. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. Oh, this is a beautiful Superman. They really put some wrap around those legs. Look at that guy. I thought the last Superman we had was textured. But look at this. This is like that little square that you, you know, where it just makes itself over and over and over again. It's kind of almost how it looks. Look at that. That is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The beauty. One thing I like to tell people, they always ask me about these things and these things are never like you see them on camera. They're so gorgeous in person that it's hard to explain. 
That's why a lot of people take these photos when they first get them and people get all pissed off and freaked out, but some people have bad lighting when they take them. You just, you gotta be careful. I don't take the best photos in the world. Sometimes my uh, camera, I need to get a new phone really, but uh, I try to capture something that gives the presence that I feel when looking at it. I learned my lesson. There was someone who was taking a bunch of pictures of uh, uh, Red Sonia, and it, it was making her look so ugly, like her jaw was so big. And I'm glad I did not cancel her or drop out of her, because she is a gorgeous statue. But this person just was taking awful photos of them. So never go off of photos. Like with Prime One, one thing I'd say is you gotta just kind of trust that they're gonna do well because they really always do. Look at this. Look at that back, those huge traps, our rear delts, our triceps. Like this is just incredible. You got some toned butt. You can see our hamstrings, got some calves, got this nice little smooth part around our boots. Extremely leather texture on there leather texture. I almost feel like you can see how it was printed. Uh, I bet you the cape rests on that smooth spot. Its texture looks like it's made out of like burlap. Looks like his cape would be so uncomfortable. Look at all these little pads we got on here. Like a uh, little felt velvet pads all over the cape anywhere it's gonna rest on him so it's probably where it rests on his butt there look at that wow that is literally intense i love the way that looks that is gorgeous looks like there's like kind of squares you can see how it was printed Let's see here. Definitely want this to be. Whew. That's a beautiful fit. You can't ask for anything to go on so nicely. Look at that. Oh, yep, look at it right there. It touches <laughs> his butt. Not the same side, but oh, that is perfect placement. They have one here and it's not even touching him now. Look at that, that crinkle cape, like, whew. Wow, that is cool. Let's get a full 360 of them here. Incredible. I thought this was gonna be small from the picture, but look at that thing. <laughs> that is huge. There's some slight bubbles inside it. It's just clear resin. Metal though. Metal rod. <laughs> Textured hand. Very cool. For anyone that doesn't know, uh, Green Arrow shoots the arrow at him, catches it <laughs> right in his face. Let's see, we'll go down the line. We got our smirking head. They're very, uh, like, layered up on paint. Very, uh, multiple tones. This curl is absolutely huge. It's got that super hair. Fits right in there. The smirk. <laughs> Personally, I mean, you could take it a couple different ways. You could say he's smirking, like, oh yeah, that was a good try. But I, I personally won't be using the smirk. It's not a bad head, though. 
It's actually really good. Look at that neck vein we got in there. That curl up front is just huge. It's ridiculous, but it's cool. There's so much hair. Maybe I'm just envious. Let's see what we got here. So we got a fist. I mean, the arrow, definitely cooler. You have your friends over. They could be like, why is he holding an arrow? Well, let me tell you why. Another fist, like, we're basically just pissed off. Walking double fisted right here. Now, this is the one. Hot. Damn, is that cool. Wow. Look at how cool it's like the padding inside. You can see where it just got lasered right off with his uh, heat vision. You can see it's like there was a lens. And look at that. That's literally the BVS helmet. Like straight up all mangled, you know. I'm just that beastly. That is way too cool. Way too cool. You know, it makes me wonder. Would it hurt him walking around holding this? Whoops. Would that hurt him? Would it weaken him? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think he could just walk around carrying that arrow? Let's see what we got here. We got a pissed off Clark Kent. Very mad. Not gonna have it. Like, we are pissed. These are heavy heads. Like, they weigh more than some premium formats. Look at that. How cool is that? Just fucking furious right now. You really gonna do this to me? <laughs> we got this one where... He's just like, you know, I'm indifferent to you. At this point, you're a nuisance, but... So, I mean, it would probably start off like this. We'd probably get to this point. So we'd probably start about there. And we'd probably have fists, maybe an open hand with that head. And then we'd get to the pissed point where we'd maybe have the helmet, and then at the end, we would have just the laser vision. Well, I mean, this did get heat. I keep saying laser visioned. I mean heat vision. It's just, I just got off work not too long ago. It's been a long night. I used to do these on Saturday morning, or yes, Sunday mornings, Saturday nights. Look at that head. Look at his tongue in there. How dope, all these teeth. Wow, that's incredible. Oh my God, it goes way back there too. I wonder how the mold was made for the, oh shit. You can see the line right there. So they <laughs> popped those teeth in there. Yep. If it doesn't look like it's possible, it probably wasn't. There we go. That is, that's his final form, I would say. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. There's a little chip on his ear. Well. It's fixable. No, well, it is, but we'll contact Prime One. We'll let them know. I want to know what you all think about this piece. I've had it around me for a couple hours now. I kind of had to finish up the video yesterday. And then, uh, man, I really want to say this texture on him is out of this world. It's one thing. I was kind of looking at him through filters and everything. This statue is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I had someone... I seen ask me on my Instagram. I'm gonna get back to everyone on there. Which one I prefer, this or the the Hush Superman? You know, 
Hush is gorgeous, but he's big and he's up, kind of just doing his thing. This one's like on the ground, ready to go with Batman. He's like, he's ready to fucking sock it to him. He's ready to pound him. I mean, if you have read or watched the fight with them at the end, it is the coolest fight you've ever seen. I like this one, I think, for now. But that, that could just be the new statue enthusiasm. Every time you get a new one, it's kind of your favorite. Uh, seeing him with the dark DK3 over there. Oh, they're going to look so good to have them, like, together. I think they just look so freaking cool together. Uh, I think this piece is outstanding. And I'm not just saying that. I really like him i think his texture is unique and it's on point it's just it, it's this perfect little weave it's like it, it almost looks like the little square where it's a bunch of boxes and you can't tell because each box makes a box like i don't know it just looks so cool and his colors are good the bvs helmet being smashed is really cool and i just like his beefiness i like how He's bulky, but he's not like overdoing it because you know Superman is a monster and he's, he's not the biggest guy all the time. So, and I like Superman when he dives into my world. I like him when he comes into the Batman world. The best Superman is in Batman stories is my feeling on it. But uh, I know a lot of you love Superman. That's great. I love him too, but I love him when he comes into the Batman stuff. Uh, I do have multiple Superman uh, trade paperbacks and comics and stuff like that but uh I this this Superman easily gets a high rating from me like he's he's one of my favorite right now that cape is just insane it's really thick it's really strong it's got a really cool like uh, wind effect to it it's like you know it's not overdoing it. I don't foresee him having any type of leaning problems or anything with that. But, uh, you know, you get the DX, you get four heads, you get everything you see here. Killer Superman. And one thing is, is I did notice he was sold out. Uh, last I looked, I believe. So, I mean, he's going fast. He's going to be a Superman that is gone. But... Let me know what you all think about him. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. If you enjoyed this, let me know what you think about him. Leave me a subscription if you want to see more. But uh, mostly, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the love and support you show me every week on all my platforms. But remember, keep buying toys.